In the mid-1900s country club, you could often find an abundance of many things. Pristine greens as far as the eye could see. Clubs swooshing and balls being launched towards unreachable holes. Strange pants that don't necessarily reach the ankle. But if you were to visit a country club any time in those days, there's one thing you would see more than anything. White people. It's true, as this sign brazenly states. Integration in country clubs back in the day was as rare as seeing Cary Grant not kiss a woman in a film. And of course, there's no reason for segregation anywhere, let alone the golf course. But what do you do? You want to play golf, but you're not white. Well, as the old saying goes, if you can't join them, create your own country club. It don't mean a thing. It you are now on the grounds of Shady Rest Golf and Country Club, a nine-hole, 33-acre rolling golf oasis with an incredible history. It's the first black-owned golf and country club in the United States. A place where folks could golf, play tennis, or listen to Billie Holiday. Live. In person. We'll get to that in a bit. But to dive into this truly incredible piece of African-American history, let's now send it over to me, the whitest reporter in local news. Hello, Sheena. Hello, Sylvia. Hey, how are you? Tell me about this establishment right here, the Shady Rest Golf Club. You had five African-American businessmen that got together. They called themselves the Progressive Realty Company. And in 1921, they purchased this from the Westfield Golf Club. And from there is history because, you know, African-Americans had no safe place to socialize, play golf, play tennis, a meeting place, a gathering place. And so this became a safe place for them. John Shippen was the first not only American-born, but African-American pro golfer. Right. And he lived here. Yes, he did. You kept all his stuff. I mean, that is wild. Is that his actual hat? Yeah. Old 50. trophies are A trophy here. clock. These are trophies. This is what you used to get if you went and get a trophy clock? Yeah. Man. How come that never happens nowadays? Don't you know. don't see that anymore. Okay. This is my award, and it's 4.30. You have an actual green book. Yeah. The Shady Rest is listed in the green book. Uh-huh. Oh I purchased God. that off of eBay, too. She was the resident cook at that time. She was the, the, the main chef here at the country club. Yeah, she yeah. She was fancy. Fried chicken and waffles. That is Miss Fanny Charleston. She was a socialite. You know how I knew that? Uh, Her name's Fanny. Fanny. <laughs> These were scrutinizing people because this was a, a club for the upper crust. A little boogie. And that's exactly what I call them. This is something that blows my mind. This is up here. You, you like music. This you like is, good music. All these people perform here. Yeah. Is that correct? And more, and more. And more. So you have Louis Armstrong. Count Basie, Ella played Ella here. Fitzgerald. Billie Holiday played here. Yes, definitely. And Sarah Vaughn played here. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. This is the floor that <laughs> someone like Billie Holiday or Ella Fitzgerald yeah. performed on. And the bandstand yeah. will be sitting right in front here. Excuse me for one second. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first, right? <laughs> you know what? You can hear it still. The beauty thing about the Shady Rest because People that worked at the Cotton Club, they worked at the Savoy, they couldn't sit down and relax there. They weren't allowed to do that. Yeah. So they had to, when they finished work, they would truck from Harlem and come here, socialize, have a good time. Is this place haunted? And is it by Billie Holiday? Can I sleep over <laughs> if it is? You know, I, I wish I could say that, yeah. you know, but no. Nothing. It's good, that's good. But to visit Shady Rest and not play golf would be a truly missed opportunity. So I hopped into this Motley Crew. Happy to have you. Are you? Oh, happy yeah, to have yeah. you, man. Yeah. Happy to have you. You haven't seen me play yet. <laughs> How about you? I'm a pretty bad golfer. Okay, good. <laughs> you guys are father daughter right here. <laughs> yes, yes. So I've been playing since I was seven. Who's better? Me. She's really? Yeah. <laughs> and you're not even arguing this. No, I'm not. <laughs> Charles? Really excellent job. Are you ready? I'm ready like Freddy. Ready like Freddy. Yeah. I'm not like Smot. This is a very hard course, right? Yes, it's very tough. It's very tough. You gotta play it short. We How many balls have been hit in the street right there? Well, they can tell you. You know, I like you. Wipe it. You're the same size of legs. <laughs> The good thing is we had no problem following that ball. <laughs> With a five wood, that's what I recommend. I think an iron, because he was pretty strong. Yeah, take the five wood. You say what? Yeah, the wood. You think wood. I'm good with my wood. I don't want, all right. <laughs> if I get a hole in one, we all have to streak the entire <laughs> golf course, especially <laughs> Sylvia. Sylvia. I don't care about your sciatica. We're going butt naked and we're running up and down. <laughs> Make sure you got that butt in the air. It worked for you last time, let's see. Well, all right. 
Okay. Oh, oh geez. You I'm just redecorating at this Strong point. Ten. Dirt went farther than the ball it went. Did. When I'm taking sips from your tasty You're not supposed to make noises when they go, right? No, I always make noise. They yeah. make noise when I go. I won't make noises. No. Honey, so Who's the Mac Daddy? The Mac Daddy 4 likes to grind. Oh, gee whiz. Oh, okay, yeah. You know what the sad part is? That was farther than my drive. <laughs> you the man. No, you the man. No. T for two and two for two. Yes! You are, you are the man. You. You have a very specific color golf ball, too. I only play with pink golf balls because I play with a lot of men. I always hit the good shots and they always assume that it's their ball. I said, I'm going to hit with pink. We should hide behind the shank fence. Nice shot. Nice shot. You know what? It's your club. To each life, some rain. <laughs> Too much love. You ain't got a lot of distance there, buddy. <laughs> and it's in there. Let's go. Good job. You're the man. You. You. So although playing golf with this remarkable crew was the perfect way to spend an afternoon, the fact is, under these circumstances, it should have never have had to happen. Shady rest should have never have had to happen. Reflecting on a time where a person couldn't play golf for no other reason than the color of their skin. But like Sylvia said, these folks made their way out of nowhere. And so it still stands today, simply a golf course to some. But for others, a symbol of what was, how far we've come, and how much more we still have to do. Yes, face the street. Give the street. That was fantastic. Wow, that was thank so you. Good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. And the strange part is, is that, you know, I was driving there and I was looking at all these businesses that were around the golf club and I was like, they have no idea probably yeah. what they're, they're, oh, it's a golf course. Oh, and the guys are playing golf there. And they're like, oh, it's a golf, it's nine holes, it's local, it's fine. But they have no idea of the history that Shady Rest yeah. signifies. Mm -hmm. So feel free to visit Shady Rest. Feel free to check out the, the clubhouse because it's it's absolutely spectacular. I mean, I, I can't imagine a place where Billie Holiday, Ella Fitzgerald, Count Basie, and Louis Armstrong, wow. Sarah Vaughn, all these people performed. I mean, she said it. The people would come from the Cotton Club to get off work, and they'd drive up to Shady Rest in Scotch Plains, New Jersey, and they'd sit and they'd be able to. Re it was a safe place for every yeah. for them, and it was such a it was such a wonderful place. But again, it should never have had to happen. It I should never I, have had I to wonder happen. though, were, were you able? Did you see golfers come? Did you observe yeah. like? And was it a mix of races yep. and creeds yeah. and ethnicities? It was, a mix. Yeah. it was a mix. And like I said, I hate to say it, but I question like, do they even know where they're right. playing right now? Yeah. Do they even know the history? So. You never know. You never know what's what's happening in, in the places you're you're enjoying. Yeah. You never know what the history is. So thank you to Shady.